It's going to be a roller coaster of a ride. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in the coming months. If other people could come out of more dire situations, then I can too. We got this. Whew. Hello, Internet Explorers! Welcome to my channel. I am Saika, checking in. And today, I'd like to share with you my thoughts on why I plan to study abroad. So this is going to be a new segment of my channel that I've been very excited to share with you guys. So in the future, I'll hopefully be moving to a different country to pursue higher education. And I'd like to document my journey from here up to visa applications, up to moving there, so that I can show you guys what the process is like, especially during this pandemic. So for our first video, let's take it slow and go back to the beginning of why I want to study abroad in the first place. Let's dive right into it. The first reason is to broaden my horizons. And I mean this both academically and personally. Academically, I think that studying abroad can give me a new perspective and way of seeing the field that I am going to be studying about. Of course, since we know that knowledge is dependent on how it is being taught and disseminated to other people. Just so you know, my course is also marketing. And in line with marketing, I think it is only appropriate to study it abroad because marketing has a global reach now and it has crossed the digital space. I think that studying abroad would allow me a better understanding and scope of the market and basically the global view that I'll be catering and working in in the future. Aside from that, I would also be classmates with people from different backgrounds and I think that would factor in in the sense that we would have a lot of varied discussions and varied opinions and therefore add more insights. And as a person whose country is majorly undermined in terms of like global talks or whatever, it would also give me a chance to voice out how we see and think of the world as well as also correct misconceptions. I think being with a group of people who come from all over the world would birth so many interesting concepts, especially because it's a culmination of different ideas. And also this gives me an opportunity to learn from the best minds based from so many different countries as well. In essence, I just feel like it would add to me more academically because there would be more insights, especially because I have a broader range of people I'm talking to, people I'm interacting with, and the things that I'm basically learning, rather than if I just study locally, where I'm pretty sure even though um, our study is global, the ideologies being taught or the opinions are very much similar to mine because, you know, most of us are just locals. Personally, it's a chance to travel to broaden my horizons literally and i know it's pandemic so i'm more careful of course not that much travel but as a person who is a traveler my whole family loves to travel it's like a reprieve for my wandering feet i mean i won't just be focused on school but this would also afford me to go out to meet new people to see different places and just to experience in general which leads me to my next point it will help me practice independence. If I move and study abroad, I'll be totally alone. So for the longest time, I've always lived with and depended on my parents. Of course, they kind of pressure me, but they don't really mind as much that I just live with them or stay with them for now. But because of the constant blanket and safety net that they place on me, I just depend on that and feel so comfortable in it and that honestly terrifies me. In my opinion, because my parents have given me such a good life and I acknowledge that privilege, they deserve a daughter who can be self-sufficient, who can provide for herself, and who can be a contributing member to society. They deserve that kind of daughter. And I realize that the closer I am with them, and because they give all of this to me, I just become complacent with it. So I think that being apart from them will really test how far I can go. And I'm honestly willing to do that. I'm sure being by myself can teach me a lot about independence, how to be more self-sufficient, and overall just really test my character as a person. And I mean it in the simple and big ways in the easy and also in the hard ways like 
you know, in terms of work, in terms of financial budgeting, paying my bills, house chores, and all that. Basically, adulting stuff, life stuff, real life stuff. And I think it's what I need because I'm not getting any younger and yet I'm still in my comfort zone and very happy in my comfort zone. While at my age, my parents were already raising a family, they were completely independent, and here I am just being a bum. And I know it's not gonna be easy. I'm anticipating that. I'm willing to do it for myself as well as for the betterment of other people around me who know I can do better. I'm so thankful to my parents and I want to repay them in the way I think they should be repaid and not by me just completely abusing all the help they've given me. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in the coming months that I'm gonna probably make a video saying I regret it, I wanna get out of here, I wanna go home, this was a mistake, but that's part of life and I truly believe that adversity builds character so we'll just see how far I can go and you guys are gonna be with there with me the whole time. And finally, for better, you know, opportunities in general. So I also think that staying abroad would allow me a be better chances at finding a good job or more options at least. Because of this global pandemic, it's really hard to find work now. So I'd rather use this time to study now and when it's more stable, then maybe find a job that I can work in. There's so many other possibilities. I have other goals, I have other dreams, so we'll just see what the future will hold. I don't have a lot of choices where I am now, and more so because of this pandemic. So for now, I'm willing to take my chances elsewhere. So basically, those are the major reasons as to why I want or plan to study abroad. Not only to advance career-wise or academically, but also for my own self-growth and development. You know, they say that once you're uncomfortable, it's a sign of progress. And I think I need that push because in high school and college, I excelled through the fire. I worked through all of my problems and I've been so productive and I achieved so much and I know I have so much potential. I just need to utilize it well and expand my horizons and see how far I can go independently by myself. Of course, I know my parents are always going to be there to support me. My family is such a strong support system. But there are just some things I believe that you need to do by yourself in order to see how well you can get by and live life. So that kind of got a bit serious because it is a very life-changing thing. So yeah, I'm just so happy to finally start this, this series. I hope you guys tune in. I can't wait to see where this is going. So it's going to be one bumpy ride, but We'll hold each other's hands until we cross the other side and land safely. This is only episode one, so let's strap in and let's go. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This is Saika, checking out.